Hello YouTube, it's me again. We're coming back to you, seventh video here uh, concerning the coming of the Lord and and uh, I just thought I'd give you a little more stuff. Uh, maybe you've heard it, maybe you haven't, maybe you don't care. We're gonna find out, but this is the deal. Um, remember I've told you in every video that uh, the Bible declares Jesus is coming, okay? And that's important, you know, I mean, it's important to the point where um, you need to know that because everybody's telling you that you're leaving. Well, that's just not going to happen. Everything God's doing is here. It's on the planet here. Now, I'm not saying he's not coming to this planet because he is. He's coming to the, he's coming back the second time. Hebrews 9, 20, uh, 9, 28, I believe it is that the Bible says he's coming the second time or he's going to appear the second time without sin unto salvation. That word appear means to come. He's coming here. Everything he's doing, he's bringing the whole, he's bringing the new Jerusalem. That is the, the Holy City. Everything's coming here. Everything's going to happen on this planet. So, uh, uh, you know, you just be patient. Hang on to your hat. Um, he's coming. Every day that goes by is every day that gets closer. So that's the way it is. I want to read a little bit of a scripture for you. Um, give you a little bit of uh, background for what I want to say here today. This out of Matthew 24 again. And uh, it's verse 14 through 16. It says this, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Okay? So we know the, the gospel is going to be preached, the gospel of the kingdom, not just any gospel, the gospel of the kingdom. Uh, it's going to be preached as a witness unto all the nations, and then shall the end come. Okay, who's preaching that? Obviously, the born-again, blood-bought uh, blood church, full of the Holy Ghost, preaching the gospel right up to the very end, and it comes when the uh, when the when when it's when that scripture is fulfilled. And then verse fifteen it says, "And when ye shall see, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea, Judea flee into the mountains." Okay. So uh, what I want to talk about for a little bit was the Antichrist. Uh, it says, "When you see." When ye shall, uh, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. Well, some people say, well, he's talking to the natural Jew in this uh, uh, this particular chapter, but he's not. He's talking to us. He says, when you see the therefore this uh, the abomination of desolation. You know, the natural Jew, they're not looking for the abomination of desolation. They don't even know what you're talking about. First of all, the natural Jew, they don't even read the New Testament. They read in the Old Covenant. That's it. They don't read the New Testament. They don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. They don't believe none of this stuff, and they're certainly, uh, they don't, you know, if they, if they don't believe Jesus, the Messiah, and they don't expect him to be the one to come back and set up his kingdom, uh, they think he's still dead. They don't think he rose again. They, they believe the lie, and so there you go. So when ye, that's me and you, when we see the abomination of desolation uh, stand in the holy place, then you know that... Um, um, that, that we're, we're definitely down in the end times. Okay. So you know that probably by now. So, but let me read this to you. The Bible says, um, uh, um, concerning that, that gentleman or that creep, whatever you want to call him, the Bible says, second Thessalonians two, one through 10, it says, now we beseech you brethren by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together unto him that you be soon, uh, be not soon shaken in mind or troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter from us, as that day of Christ is at hand, okay? Let no man deceive you by any means, for the, that day shall not come. Remember that, that day, what day? The day of Jesus, the, the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. That day shall not come, except there be a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Okay, so we know that Jesus will not return. He will not return until the Antichrist has been revealed. Okay, now that's for sure. Okay, but he's not even coming then. He, he said that after Matthew 24, after the great tribulation, then you'll see him coming with power and great glory. So, you know, he's coming uh, that way and he's coming after all of this is finished. All of this will be done before he returns. I promise you. Okay, so he says, uh, uh, And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, uh, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was, with, was yet with you, I told ye, I told you these things. And now ye know 
what withhold that he might be revealed in his time. Okay, so uh, he, he's, uh, Jesus will come in his time, and he'll come at after the, uh, the Antichrist uh, moves into the, the third temple, as far as I can tell, in Jerusalem, and he declares himself that he's God, and the Jews are going to be going, well, I know something's wrong because he's going to do something in the, uh, in the temple that's going to really mess with them. And they're going to say this is an abomination of desolation. And they're going to know that they've been looking and watching the wrong man. And they're going to say we messed up. And they're going to flee. Uh, and they're going to be, uh, the Bible says that uh, Jesus said just, uh, they're going to flee into the mountains. And it's interesting to me that just today I was listening to the, and the, uh, the reporter said that uh, Netanyahu, if he gets revoted in tomorrow, um, he's, that's the 17th of September, he's going to immediately declare and annex the whole Jordan Valley as part of Israel. And that would be Judea <coughs> and Samaria. And that is a legal part of what God gave uh, the natural state of Israel. I'm not interested in none of their land. I'm not interested in nothing they have. I'm interested in the, in the Bible being fulfilled uh, in prophecy because until Israel became a nation in 1948, why none of this could be happening. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to be sitting here talking about the imminent return of Jesus because it couldn't be done until Israel was a nation and Jerusalem became part of uh, Israel and they, that they, they declare that their capital. And you know, there's a, there's a few things that need to be done as of yet, but it's happening. And uh, you know, as soon as uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, if he gets voted in tomorrow, the 17th of September, which it looks like he might, uh, he probably will. That's why I, I, I don't. We'll see. Um, then, then Trump is going to introduce the peace plan, and they're going to see how much uh, they can bring together to get this thing signed, and see if they can't make this thing work. And if it works, well, then we're getting close to the end of the uh, time as far as uh, what we know, uh, because then we're going to be into the last seven years. I expect, honestly, I expect that they're going to have to work on this for a little while because actually the uh, the seven-year run, this particular one, won't end until uh, September, October of 2022, I believe. And so, you know, it, it may be a while before that happens because the Antichrist is going to reign uh, and, and rule or d declare himself as who he is in the last part of the tribulation, which is the last three and a half years, which, you know, um, that could be uh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 2025, and then the last, um, uh, that would be after 2025, then he would declare himself to be, um, you know, he could set himself up in the temple and declare himself to be God. But that's just a ways away. So, and you know, it's really interesting to me of, of all of the things that are coming down on our planet um, between the year of 22 and 29, it's kind of getting crazy. And the Bible says in Luke 21 that men's hearts will fail them for fear of things that are coming on the planet, okay? So it's going to get wild and woolly. And hang on, just get in the ark and you'll be fine. Um, you know, you, you, you're going to go through some persecution, some stuff, but it'll be fine. You, you'll be good. And, uh, you know, what is the profit of a, a man if he gained the whole world and lose his own soul? You know, you're, you got to hang on. And whatever comes, comes, you know, and that's just, that's just the way it's going to be. So we know that the Antichrist, he's going to, uh, he's going to set up his rule. And let me give you some more scripture here. This is kind of what I want to talk about just for a minute here and uh, give you this information because a lot of people just, they don't, they don't, they don't believe this. They, they think they're, they're dead set on the fact that there's a rapture. Okay. Dead set on it. You can't change their mind. They don't even talk about it. And if you bring it up that there's something different, they get mad. Well, you know, that's fine. You get mad, whatever, but it's still, the Bible is the absolute truth. And uh, I'm sorry if it don't agree with what you think it should. You're wrong and the Bible's right. And, and, and whatever happens, I'm not saying I'm absolutely correct. I'm just saying the best I can see and the best I can read, it's got to be uh, after the Great Tribulation because I'm sure that Jesus don't lie. And there's a lot of things, but this is something that's interesting. You know, there's only two kinds of people on the planet right now. There's the saint, the born again believer, the saint, okay? And those that are not, those that are not born again. One preacher said it this way, the saint and the ain't. 
I mean, you're either in or you're not, period. There's no in-between. You're either born again or you're not. And so um, there, I don't care what religion you name. I don't care where you take it. There's two kinds of people. Either you're born again or you're not, period. That's the end of it. And so uh, as being a saint, because the Bible says that, you know, when you get born again, old things pass away and all things become new. That's 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, somewhere over there close to that. And... Uh, and, and you're a new creation. You're recreated in righteousness and true holiness, the Bible says. You're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, okay? So that's who you are. That's who we are. We're saints of the Most High God. We have been washed in the blood. He's coming back for a blood-bought, stain-free church. And uh, that's, that's, that's us. We're, he's coming for us like that. And uh, so we're the saints of God. Now watch. I want to read to you two scriptures. This is out of Daniel chapter 7. And watch what this says. It says this, and of the ten horns, now he's talking about in, these, in the days that we're living in right now. He says there, was, there were in his head, and of the other which came up, and before whom three fell. You need to read the whole chapter. Even of that horn um, that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellow. Now he's talking about the Antichrist right there, okay? He's talking about the fella in the same fellow that's in Matthew 24 that I read earlier, okay? In verses 16 and 15 and 16, okay? So that's the same fellow right there. And watch what it says in verse 21. I beheld, and the same horn, same horn, made war with the saints and prevailed against them until the Ancient of Days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Ultimately, let me tell you something, we're going to beat that creep. We're going to beat him. We're going to beat him down hard, okay? Now, let me read this next one. This is the same thing. It's saying the same thing in the book of Revelation, Revelation 13, 3 through 9. Let me just read it. It says, and I saw one of his heads as it had been wounded uh, to death and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. They worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things, uh, blasphemies, and powers. A power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. That's, uh, that's three years. And, and, and the power was given to him to do that. And the Bible says that... Uh, um, um, in verse 6, it says, And he opened his mouth and, and, and blasphemed against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle to them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given to him to over, over all kindred and tongues and nation. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book, of, uh, the book of life of the Lamb, saying from the foundation of the world, If any man have ears, let him hear. So if your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You're one of those people that are going to worship the beast. And the ultimate end of that is eternal damnation, cut off from God forever. You know, you take the mark, you seal your own fate. That's it. That's done. You're done. So remember, you must be born again. Get born again, serve God, and, and, and just be aware that, that there's going to be rough days ahead. But believe me, <clears throat> eternity's a long time. Hell's a long time. And you don't want to end up on the wrong team. You don't want to end up on the wrong side of this thing. Get born again. Let Jesus become your Lord and Savior. Ask him to forgive you of your sins, wash you in the blood, cleanse your life. Amen. And get baptized in water and get baptized in the Holy Ghost. And, uh, and I'd like to talk to you about Matthew 25 because it's important what it says just following Matthew 24 is continuing about the coming of the Lord. Some important things in there. But I'm just going to encourage you now. I'm out of time. So <clears throat> get born again. Serve God. Read the Bible. Read the Bible every day. And uh, I appreciate you watching this. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, I love you. God bless you. Bye.